Hello everyone and welcome to another Massive tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to control pitch and LFO speed using envelopes. Uh, let's start by creating an initial sound and then we're going to modify that with uh, an envelope. So to start, go into oscillator 1, set that to modern talking, and then set this middle bend option. Turn the intensity to right about there and the wavetable position kind of opposite of that. Let's set oscillator 2 one of, either one of these sine triangles, sine square, and just turn it all the way left for the sine, and then pull that down one octave. Let's turn that amp up right to about the middle, because we don't want it to overtake the first oscillator. Now let's go over to filter one, and set that to daft, and then pull the cutoff to right about there, and leave the resonance down, and then let's pull this mix all the way up here so we only use filter 1. Let's go ahead and set our effects and FX1 go to this very last one here and turn this up to right about there and then in FX2 set dimension expander bring it to right about the same spot and bring the size down just a little. Now let's go into the voicing tab turn this up to around 3 or 4 Let's go ahead and set the pan position. Turn that down to right about there. Should be good. Now let's go over to LFO5 and just leave that alone for now, but let's go ahead and drag it into the cutoff of filter 1 and pull it up to right about there. Let's go ahead and get a listen out of it. This is just our basic sound and then we're going to modify this with an envelope. So, it doesn't sound terrible, nothing exciting. Um, let's go ahead and go into envelope 3 here. Let's turn the attack to about there for now. Bring this level down and turn the decay up to right about there. Maybe turn the attack up a little more. Now real quick, let's go into envelope 4. Um, which this controls the main amp, and let's turn that level all the way up. Now go into envelope 3 here, and let's take that and drag it also into the cutoff of the DAF filter, and pull that up to right about there. And then go back to LFO5. We're actually going to turn this rate knob down just a little, and let's grab envelope 3 here, drop that into right here. This is actually going to allow uh, this envelope to control the rate of the LFO. So let's turn that up to right about there and let's hear how that changes our sound. So a big difference from what it sounded like before that controlled the LFO rate. Real quick, let's come into the modulation here. Set phase for oscillator 1. And then let's grab our envelope here and pull that up just a little. Hear that? So you get a really nice sound out of that. Um, now we're actually going to use envelope 3 to also do one more thing. Um, we're going to modify this wavetable position a little, which is very simple. Let's pull that here, drag down. You can move that anywhere you like. Um, but actually we're going to take this and put it right here and this is basically the pitch control for each of these oscillators. Let's drag that down just to one there for each of those. Anytime you're going to modulate the pitch using an envelope and you actually are using this phase control, you want to make sure you also um, put that pitch change right there too, otherwise it just doesn't seem to sound good at all. Um, so let's go ahead and take a listen to that. And just to finish this sound off and insert one, let's go to hard clipper. Go ahead and turn the drive up to right about there. And you can actually use this envelope to pull that up as it goes. So as you can tell, um, using these envelopes um, is very powerful and can really make your sound more dynamic. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.